to put it in perspective for people who have never studied ancient Egypt, Cleopatra, the pyramids. If you if you look at the date of the pyramids, the the Cleopatra <clears throat> is closer to yes. us. Yes. Than the pyramids were to Cleopatra. Yeah. Yeah. Which is nuts. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You stop and think about that. Like, wait a minute. What? They were that old back then? Yeah. And they've found <clears throat> these little tiny airplanes inside the pyramids. These little little miniature, you know, carved airplanes mm -hmm. that look like airplanes. And mm -hmm. someone's, people have tried to say, well, no, they represent birds. That doesn't look like a bird at all. I mean, they have a, a rudder. Mm -hmm. I and mean, they look like planes. Well, yeah, and, and you know, there are traditions, particularly the Vedic traditions, that are full of descriptions of flying objects. Yes, yes, you know. the Vimanas. Yeah, right? exactly. So what is that? You know, I'm not going right. to proclaim unequivocally it's, it's, it's airplanes, but at the same time, we've got to keep an open mind about it. And, and the point I'm trying to make is that, yeah, there was so much time that transpired, all kinds of things could have happened. That, that have basically been erased. Right. Um, and, and hopefully by the end of today's uh, interview, you, you'll have a better, a clear idea of specifically what some of those things really were. So we're talking about a potential <clears throat> civilization of maybe tens of thousands of years of growth. And if we're looking at what, we're, what we have from the beginning of the dawn of civilization, and we believe Mesopotamia somewhere around 7,000 years ago, mm -hmm. from that till today, we're talking about maybe double or triple that was lost in these gigantic cataclysmic <clears throat> events, maybe 15, 20,000, 30,000 years of, <clears throat> of human beings inventing things, people building upon the inventions of others, yes. expanding, and then all of that, boom, yeah. wiped out. We're rubbing sticks together again to start fires, and then whatever memories are left, people yeah. have to rebuild. A generation or two ago, it was easy to dismiss ideas like that as fringe science. Right. Today, as we sit here in 2015, it's not nearly so easy to dismiss that anymore, particularly what we now know about the history of this planet and how truly dynamic it has been.